Hi, Pastor Anthony Doug with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I'm talking about gifts. We're all thinking about giving gifts this time of year. And so I thought we would take a moment to think about costly gifts that because of our faith, because of, our, of who we are, that we can offer each other. Make sure to click share, like, subscribe, and all those fun buttons so that you can share the good news with others today. So one of the gifts that we can offer each other is a refined focus. Now today, uh, more than probably any other time in human history, we are overloaded with information and overloaded with opportunities to be distracted and to not have focus. It, it's almost like we're two-year-olds. You know, we 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 are focused. Oh, I, I'm like, whoa, there's something over there. Whoa, look, look, look. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're we're all over the place with our minds, with our thoughts, and more importantly, with our presence with our presence. In the scriptures, it tells us, uh, Psalm 139.7, for example, says, where can I go from your presence, O Lord? Where, where can I hide from you? One of the gifts that God gives us is this open opportunity invitation to constantly be within God's presence. God is never not focused on us. God is always there Focusing on who we are, focusing on our better interests, focusing on us. God always offers God's presence. Sometimes we don't feel like God's present, but that's on our end of the problem. But God is always there. And one of the ways that we can reflect God's will and God's being within this world is to offer each other that same diligent, intentional, refined presence. And I'm using that word refined on purpose because so many times... We are there with each other, but in our mind, we're somewhere else. Or in our hands, we're somewhere else because we're looking at a screen. Or because there's a TV on, our ears are somewhere else. Or because there's music happening, our, our composure, who we are, our emotional state is somewhere else. I challenge you this season to take time, especially with those that you love the most, to turn off all the screens. If you're going to have music to set the mood, have it have no words, but only have music that is acoustic and, and, and kind of a cappella without words, you know, that kind of thing. Or even without, without, without sound. Just take, take time to turn everything off and to offer each other focus. Focus that's been through several different layers of sifting so that it is truly the focus and the presence that God gives us all the time and we can offer it to each other. When someone comes to you this week, I challenge you to, to take the time to refine who you are at that moment because they need you and give them this gift. It is extremely costly because it's using up two of the most important important resources God ever gave us that are not renewable. One is our time, and the other is our presence. Offer each other that refined focus as God constantly offers it to us, and give it as a gift. And I think you'll find we're better together because of it. Amen.